What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my trophy review for Air Twister. Air Twister is a rail arcade shooter. Similar to Panzer Dragon, so I was very happy to get an early copy of the game. But my joy quickly disappeared after looking at the trophy list. But later more, let's take a quick look at the game itself. The game has 12 campaign levels and you can get through it within 30 to 40 minutes. But in addition to the 12 campaign levels, the game offers a lot more. For example, there are special events, there are daily, weekly and time limited events where you can unlock outfits and other rewards. Then we have the challenge mode, here you can find another bunch of game modes, boss rush, stardust, arcade mode and plenty of other stuff so there is a lot to do after completing the campaign. But there is even more. You can unlock a lot of customizations, you can change your hair, you can change your clothes and you can change the weapons. You can unlock all this stuff in the adventure map. By playing the game you earn some stars and with these stars you can unlock several outfits, weapons and items. So as you can see plenty of things to unlock. But what about the trophies? Well let's take a quick look at the trophies. The game comes with 54 trophies and a few of them are pretty straightforward. For example clear all the stages, earn all the weapons and kill a lot of enemies. But holy moly this game has one of the most annoying trophies I've seen. So this game really deserves to be on the list worst trophy list of 2023. Here are a few examples. Play the game for 50 and for 100 hours. Well I really hate this kind of trophies but they aren't really the bad ones. Here are another 3 trophies where I have to play 50 times between a specific time. I tested it and yes it's possible to go offline and change the time. This method will work to unlock these trophies. But to be honest this isn't really fun, this is just annoying and has nothing to do with the game itself. And as you already expected, yes, there are also trophies for clearing daily tasks and weekly tasks. So this is another bunch of very annoying trophies. And if you think not the trophies are just time consuming and the platinum is easy, no, not really. There is one specific trophy which will stop most of the people to get the platinum. The trophy is called Grandmaster and requires to complete the one hit death arcade mode. And believe me when I say this is almost impossible, at least for me. You only have one life to complete all 12 stages. And you have to play through it with the standard gear, so no special weapons, etc. And no matter in which stage you are, if you die, you start in stage 1 again. Well, the game receives always some updates, so maybe we get an update in the future where we can use at least the special weapons. So I personally would rate the game with a platinum difficulty 9.5 out of 10. And you need at least 100 hours, maybe more, depending on your skill to get the Grandmaster Trophy. The game releases on November 3rd for a price of $30. If you don't really care about the Platinum Trophy and if you're looking for a solid rail arcade shooter, give the game a try. Where it levels a lot of game modes besides the main campaign and a lot of unlockables. So guys, this was my trophy review for Air Twister. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for the attention. See you in my next one.